Well, after talking to my ex-partner about how I was emotionally reserved from the beginning when we first met and trying to tell him that from all my past relationships, it proved to be a wiser thing to wait and let the trust grow naturally instead of just jumping in and hoping for the best. I asked him many times to remove his post about how he and Scott were together in a relationship as it hurt my feelings pretty bad, like as it was very hurtful for me to see that. I felt betrayed and unsure of what to do. We then talked for several hours about how things could have been avoided. I told him that he should have told me just about an hour or so prior to his uploading that post with Scott that I would have told him my true feelings for him at that time, but I was hoping to wait at least another week and a half because I wanted to see if I could open up my trust slowly to him to show him that I'm very sincere in a natural and authentic environment instead of just jumping in naively hoping that things would not go bad like most bad relationships most bad relationships tend to start by people just jumping in and hoping for the best and they end terribly and swiftly usually either within a few months or at least a couple of years at any rate i had later found that he would rather break up and try to ignore all of the things that I was trying to tell him than to grow and become a better person and strengthen the relationship as I was trying to do. In short, I'm probably just not going to talk to him anymore, so I have blocked him from my contacts and I have blocked him from my Facebook. I don't expect to be seeing him anymore unless he somehow manages to make an alternate account and impersonate some other person just to hurt me again but I don't think I'm going to be having a relationship anytime soon 